My name is uh, Rod Steele, I'm part of uh, TALIS. Uh, my role on the uh, carrier project is as Head of Aviation, uh, looking at the coherency and the uh, adaption of the aircraft carrier and its uh, aviation facilities ready to take the primary aircraft uh, on board the carrier. I've served in the Navy in the past on the, uh, the large ships, the old Ark Royal with Phantoms and Buccaneers. And in terms of deck operations, I can still feel the buzz of that operational capability as aircraft were on short finals to land and we were launching aircraft off the bow cat at the same time. It's just a working environment like no other in the world. There are elements uh, within the design of this ship that are taken far beyond uh, any of the previous designs. Uh, for instance, the highly mechanised weapon handling system, which is very much part of my uh, business to design, develop and integrate into the platform, uh, is a world leader. We're now going down the route of unmanned store spaces, automated uh, delivery of uh, stores, and then uh, onto the flight deck for the squadrons to load to aircraft. Uh, the F-35 that uh, will join the ship to be its primary uh, aircraft I mean, it is a generation way above the, uh, the previous Stovall aircraft that we've operated. Uh, the technology problems that we have in terms of the aerothermal problems, in terms of uh, temperature and blast and noise, uh, are significant. And I think at the outset we probably didn't know the answer to all of those problems. Noise is one in particular, and one of the solutions that we're looking at is some very advanced uh, noise cancelling uh, headphones in order to be able to operate near this aircraft. And this aircraft is capable of blasting most things to pieces as it uh, comes in at a, at a hover landing. And yet we have a solution there that is going to be able to not only withstand that, but withstand it time and time again as repetitive landings come on board the ship. The teamwork and the teamwork effort in order to get such a, an advanced aircraft on board a new ship and a new design is one of the pleasing challenges that we are facing. But we're all working towards one common goal. Uh, we have the client, the MOD, embedded in our team as well. Uh, and they just give us that complete rainbow picture of capability, experience, uh, understanding and knowledge that we can develop and, and use in a collective way towards the delivery of these ships. Well, I, I mean, for me, I suppose it's uh, the end of quite a long journey and to see a design that I've had a hand in, particularly from the initial uh, design concepts, the design intent, uh, all the way through to what is now going to be one of the uh, largest and most impressive warships that has ever been built in this country. Uh, and perhaps to think that a bit part of that is, uh, has come from my past experience that I've been able to give to this ship and its development. So it's going to be a very proud moment, obviously. Uh, it's the culmination of a, a, a significant amount of work over these last few years. Uh, and as I say, it's probably towards the completion of a, a, a long career for me as I see the ship sail off, yeah.